पावन हाथ आजा दिल में मेरे शांति मुझे दे दे आजा दिल में मेरे मुक्ति मुझे दे दे बरसाते दिल में मेरे प्यार मुझे दे दे पावन हाथ हाँ आजा दिल में मेरे खुशियाँ मुझे दे दे बरसाते साथे खुशिया दिल में मेरे करुण कृपा दे दे चाहिए में मेरे अपनी दया दे दे dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ Saint David Zakayam is a unique saint 
a married layman, a courageous convert, a living legend. He lived in this world 40 years, 7 years as Christian and 3 years in prison. The canonization of India's first lay married man is important not only for the church in India but also for the millions of Christians around the world. This prayer service is a thanksgiving prayer service as church in India is blessed with one more saint. The prayer service is being conducted from the tomb of Saint Devasakaya. Today is the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. During this prayer service, we will consecrate all our families and religious communities to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Kindly recite together the consecration prayer with the Cardinal Elect Philip Neri Ferravo, the President of the CCBI. I request all of you to kindly use the text of the prayer and actively and consciously participate in this prayer service. Let us plead the intercession of Saint Devasakaya. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace be with you from God the Father, Christ Jesus our Savior. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, with firm trust in God's justice, mercy, we are gathered here today to pray, to make our hearts respond to God. It is necessary that we make an examine of ourselves and express our readiness for reconciliation with God and one another. Let us therefore ask God for the grace of true repentance. Almighty and merciful God, you have brought us together in the name of your Son to receive your mercy and your grace. Open our eyes, touch our hearts, and convert us to yourself. Where sin has divided and scattered, may your love make one again. Where it has brought weakness, may your power heal and strengthen where it has brought death. May your spirit raise to new life. Give us a new heart to love you so that our lives may reflect the image of your Son. May the world see the glory of Christ revealed in your church and come to know that he is the one whom you have sent, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. You came into the world to seek and save what was lost. Lord, have mercy. You came to give us life, life in its fullness, Lord, have mercy. You became the source of salvation for all who obey you. Christ, have mercy. Once and for all, you died for our sins, the innocent one for the guilty. Christ, have mercy. In your mercy, free us from the past and enable us to begin a new life of holiness. Lord, have mercy. Make us a living sign of love for all to see. People reconcile with you and with each other. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, 
you sent your only begotten son to reconcile the world to yourself lift from our hearts the oppressive gloom of sin so that we may celebrate the martyrdom of saint devasagayam through which he witness to the one living god we ask this through christ our lord amen in psalm 116 the psalm that we are going to pray now david praises and thanks god for his deliverance from many troubles and persecutions the heart of david reflects the art of saint devasagayam let us recall our moments of trials and tribulations and offer them to the lord lifting up the cup of salvation as did david and devasakhayam i love the lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy because he inclined his ear to me therefore i will call on him as long as i live The snares of death encompassed me the pangs of Sheol laid hold on me I suffered distress and anguish Then I called on the name of the Lord O Lord I pray deliver my soul Gracious is the Lord and righteous our God is merciful The Lord preserves the simple when I was brought low he saved me Return O my soul to your rest for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you For you have delivered my soul from death my eyes from tears my feet from stumbling I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living I believed when even when I spoke I am greatly afflicted What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints O Lord I am your servant I am your servant the son of your maid servant you have loosed my bonds i will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the lord i will pay my vows to the lord in the presence of all his people in the courts of the house of the lord in your bed so jerusalem praise the lord Psalm 126 a psalm of ascent brings before our minds the metaphor of sowing and reaping sowing involves pain and suffering while reaping brings joy and laughter saint devasakhayam at his martyrdom sowed pain and suffering and today he reaps the crown of merit with joy and laughter let us remember the great things that god has done in our lives and thank god that he may continue to turn our sorrows into joys when the lord restored the fortunes of sion we were like those who dream then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy Then they said among the nations the Lord has done great things for them the Lord has done great things for us we are glad restore our fortunes o lord like streams in the negev Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping 
bearing the seed for sowing shall come home with shouts of joy bringing his sheep with him John sees in the vision the lamb seated on the throne the lamb which was pierced to death is glorified now Jesus death on the cross was transformed into his exaltation may we surrender our bodies minds and wills to this pierced lamb that we may be transformed according to his will vrti ayu The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the 12, "And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body." in hell are not two sparrows sold for a penny and not one of them will fall to the ground apart from my father but even the hairs of your head are all numbered fear not therefore you are of more value than many sparrows So everyone who acknowledges me before men I also will acknowledge before my father who is in heaven but whoever denies me before men I also will deny before my father who is in heaven the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ we celebrate today the feast of the sacred heart of Jesus in many of our houses the picture of the sacred heart has a prominent place indicating the importance of Jesus in our lives he is the master of our lives the king of our hearts 
The Feast of the Sacred Heart completes a series of big liturgical feasts. And now we begin the ordinary Sundays of the year. It is the culmination of the Passion Resurrection Feast of our Lord, His Ascension into Heaven, Pentecost, Trinity, and now Corpus Christi. All these feasts, brothers and sisters, though different, have in depth the same theme, the love of God for each one of us, all men and women, for you and for me. We meditated on the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, his very great sufferings on the cross. The resurrection assures us of his victory, that his death is not the end, assures us of life eternal. The ascension takes up his redemption to the Father. Pentecost, once again, we experience God's presence in the Holy Spirit, the gift of Jesus to us. All these feasts show us one point, love of God. That's the feast of the Sacred Heart. Which of us has not personally experienced the love of God? Examine ourselves not felt his reassuring presence in answer to our prayers. We have not felt his answering us in spite of our weaknesses and sins. Don't we personally sometimes feel his presence in our hearts? Don't we have access to the greatest gift, the Eucharist? This then is the meaning of the Feast of the Sacred Heart. We are celebrating this prayer service, having this prayer service at the tomb of Blessed of Saint Devasayam, who was canonized by Pope Francis on the 15th of May this last month. Now he is one, Devasayam, who experienced the love of God very intensely. And then he decided that he would for nothing in the world give up this love which he had experienced. He was going to, he had power, he had influence, prestige, he had wealth, he was trusted officer of the king. But when he had to make a choice, he chose Jesus. Look at his picture, there was Siam picture. And I have noticed three things. Look at his eyes, you see a, a certain gl glimpse of brightness in his eyes as if he has seen a vision, as if he has seen Jesus, experiencing Jesus. His hands are crossed, like a form of a cross, as if he's clasping something close to his heart, the presence of Jesus, the love of Jesus. There's a heavy chain to show he's a prisoner. But I think the greater chain is the, his chain which he has put of himself to the heart of Jesus not wanting ever to be separated from Jesus. We see everything in Deva Sahayam. A great matter of joy for us that he is a lay saint, the first Indian lay saint, the first Indian martyr. And this gives us an indication that holiness is not just for priests and nuns, it's for all, every baptized person, for you and for me. We can become saints also. Today, at his tomb, we pray that he brings healing to each one of us. Healing physically, whatever we have suffering from. Spiritually, we all need much of spiritual healing. Emotional healing. We all pray that he may give us the courage, the depth of fidelity to Jesus in all circumstances. Understanding the Lord, living only for him. Today's gospel, we've just heard, Jesus says, we must acknowledge him before men and he will acknowledge us before the Father. What does acknowledging mean? In the mind, knowing that he's the Son of God, God himself sent to redeem us. Our life showing by our lives that we know gospel values and live gospel values. Our works, that we care even for the poor those in distress. This is what Deva Sahayam 
really did. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this prayer service, let us commit ourselves to Jesus once again. I invite you to reflect on your prayer life, I invite you to talk to Jesus, experience his presence, and may Deva Sargayam bring to each one of us courage to live the life of Jesus, love for Jesus personally, nothing will take us away from him, and a reassurance from Jesus that he is always with us. God bless each one of you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, having confidence in the unfailing help of our God and through the intercession of Saint Deva Sahayam, the beloved son of the soil, let us now pray for our needs and the needs of the entire world. Prabhu, mera charvaha hai, mujhe kuch ghati na hogi, ki girijagar ke neta ho, Yeshu hamare achhe charvaha, ke misal par chal kar, unke bharosa me sompe vishwasiyon ko, karuna aur daya se netritwa karein, aur ve lagatar, प्रभु जो उनके सब कुछ हैं के करीब सदा रहें हम प्रभु से प्रार्थना करते हैं पसुंबल बिलीमेद ये ने इले पार चेद अमेडियार ने 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 ले खड़क के ये ने आलित चल्लम मांडवरे यिंगल नाटिन अनेत ने ले खड़ीलम सहल बुडम ताले वर्गड़ அவர்கள் அனைவரும் தங்களிடம் ஒப்படைக்கப்பட்டுள்ள மக்களை அமைதி செழிப்பு ஒற்றுமையை நோக்கி வழி நடத்தவும் அனைவரும் இணைந்து நல்லிணக்கத்தோடு சுதந்திரமாக வாழ வரமருள வேண்டும் என்று இறைவா உம்மை மன்றாடுகின்றோம் அங்கே ஆல்மாவினே புனருத்திருக்கணும் അവിടുത്തെ നാമത്തെ പ്രതി നീതിയുടെ പാതയിൽ എന്നെ നടത്തുന്നു സങ്കീർത്തനം ഇരുപത്തിമൂന്ന് മൂന്ന് രോഗികളും കഷ്ടപ്പെടുന്നവരും മരണാസന്നരും പ്രത്യാശ അറ്റവരും രോഗങ്ങളാൽ വലയുന്നവരും നഷ്ടങ്ങൾ സഹിക്കുന്നവരും ആകുലരും ഈ പുനരുദ്ധാരണം യാഥാർത്ഥ്യമാക്കുവാൻ പ്രത്യാശ കൈവിടാതെ വീണ്ടും ശാരീരികവും മാനസികവുമായ പുതിയ ജീവൻ നേടുവാൻ വേണ്ടി ഞങ്ങൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഗഡാന്തകാരപുലോയിലോ ഭയനിച്ചിനപ്പുടി നെനെറ്റി അപായമുനകു ഭയപ്പെടവലനു എന്തുകനാ നീവു നാകു തോടുകാണു നീ ബഡിതയു നീ കൊലയു നന്നു കാപ്പാടുനു കീർത്തന ഇരവൈ മൂടു നാലുഗു ഓ പ്രഭുവ ഈ ഒക്കെ സമയമുലോ ഭൗതികമുക അന്യായമുക ദൗർജന്യമുക ജഗടമുക മതാഭിമാനമുക കരുവു കാട്ടകമുക അക്രമുക വ്യാപാരം ചെയ്യു വാരിനി മരിയു വിപത്തുലക്കു ഗുരി അയിന വാരിനി നിരാശകു ഗുരി കാക്കുണ്ട വാരിക്ക് സൗഖ്യമുനു ഓദാർപ്പുനു ദയിച്ചേമണി ഓ പ്രഭുവ മിമ്മു വേടുകൊണ്ട് ചിന്നാമു നിന്ന കുരിഗോലു ഊരുഗോലു ധൈര്യവന്നു തരുവതനകെ പ്രീതിയ തന്തയെ പ്രബോധകളിന്തലും ദുഷ്ടകളിന്തലും നരളുത്തിരുവരികാകി പ്രാർത്ഥിസുത്തേവെ സമാജദല്ലി ബേഡബന്ധനിസിക്കൊണ്ടിരുവ ഇവരും ജഗത്തികെ ജ്യോതിയാദ നിമ്മന്നു കണ്ടുകൊണ്ടു ജീവനക്കെ സരിയാദ മാർഗദർശനവന്നു പടുതുകൊള്ളുവന്തെ പ്രഭുവേ നിമ്മന്നു പ്രാർത്ഥിസുത്തേവേ ഹേ പ്രഭു പ്രാർത്ഥനാ കോരി ക്രിസ്തോ ഭക്തി ധീർജുനോ ജര ക്രിസ്റ്റിയോ ധർമ്മോ ജനോ ഓക്ത ചരിതോ ഖരാ ഘോരേ ഖരാ ഋതോ आमन के मृत भजन तो भोरन को रोचे था धीर तुम्हें रक्षा करो था धीर विश्वास सुधीरो करो ईशो थार्जनो प्रभु की दाकी हे प्रभु हम धीर प्रार्थना सुनो सो मी गवुल्ला देवरे 
நிஜவாகி என்ன பதுக்கு எல்லா நீங்கள் ஒல்லிய சொகவு தொட்ட கவவு என காத்து பந்தரா நானும் சோமிய மனையோக காலப்பூரா பதுக்கினே சங்கீதம் இப்பத்தி மூறு ஆறு நீங்கள் கவவு தங்க பதுக்குன்னு இன்னும் அறியாதவக்கா நீங்கள் அவக்கு கூட இப்பதுனா உணசிலி நீங்கள் கவதோக இது சத்தவக்கா நீங்கள் சின்னதை முக பீசல நோடிலி எங்கள் அறக்கைய கேத்து பதில் தாருவி God of power and mercy you have crowned saint devasahayam with the merit of holiness for the sufferings that he endured for your sake through his intercession enable us to endure every trial for love of you in whom alone is our life we make this prayer through christ our lord amen saint devasahayam for the love of christ you willingly and patiently underwent torments and tortures for three years and willingly sacrificed your life and obtained the joy of eternal life and the veneration at the altar as God's great reward. We praise and thank God for blessing you with this glorious life. You set apart your whole life for building the kingdom of God, leaving behind all the worldly pleasures of wealth, status, name, fame and glory. You, as a true disciple of Christ, faithfully put into practice the values of the gospel equality and fraternity of all people on earth assist us to follow you in leaving behind all the worldly pleasures and help us to live as children of the kingdom of god and put into practice faithfully the values of the gospel so that we may one day end in the eternal life to be with the god and your company forever and ever o saint deva sahayam glorious martyr pray for us சகாயம் 
might in word and work. Pray for us. Saint Devasahayam, who fortified those wavering in their faith. Pray for us. Saint Devasahayam, example of true conversion. Pray for us. Saint Devasahayam, who was patient for baptism. Pray for us. Saint Devasahayam, who was well versed in the knowledge of Christ. Pray for us. Saint Devasahayam, who considered his learning as rubbish for Christ. Pray for us. Saint Devasahayam, who endured betrayal by his companion. Pray for us. Saint Devasahayam, who was fervent in prayer. Pray for us. Saint Devasahayam, who converted the entire household to faith in Jesus. Pray for us. Saint Devasahayam, crowned with eternal glory. Pray for us. Saint Devasahayam, great intercessor for us with God. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Us, o Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Us, o Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, o Lord. Let us pray. Mercifully look on our weakness, O God. May the glorious intercession of your martyr Deva Sakhayam be our protection during the times of our trials and tribulations. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, who made known to Saint Margaret Mary your great desire to reign over Christian families, we are gathered here today to proclaim your complete rule over our family. From now on, we promise to lead a Christ-like life. We will strive to develop in our home all the virtues which bring with them the peace that you promised. And we will not compromise with the spirit of worldliness which you have so strongly denounced. You will rule over our minds through our deep and living faith. You will be king of our hearts by our generous love for you and we will cultivate this love by the frequent reception of you in the Holy Communion. Divine Heart of Jesus, preside over our family gatherings. Bless all our family undertakings, both spiritual and temporal. Sanctify our joys and comfort us in our sorrows. And if any member of our family should have the misfortune to offend you seriously, remind him, her, O Sacred Heart of Jesus, of your infinite love and mercy for the penitent sinner. And when the hour of separation comes, when death brings its sorrows into our family, whether we go or whether we stay, we will humbly accept your divine will. And at the same time, we will console and comfort ourselves with the thought that the time will come when our whole family will be united lovingly with you in heaven forever. There we shall sing 
a hymn of praise to the infinite mercy and love of your sacred heart. We ask the Immaculate Heart of Mary and our glorious protectors, Saint Joseph and Saint Devasaham, to offer you this family consecration. May the memory of this consecration be with us always. Glory to the Divine Heart of Jesus, our King. Praise to the Divine Heart of Jesus that brought us salvation. To it be honor and glory forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, we give thanks for Saint Deva Sahayam, a sign of hope for us at a time when hope is often difficult to discern amidst our sufferings. We give thanks for the communion of saints. The saints support us when we lag behind, when we struggle to be present to those who suffer, when we let go of our neighbor's hand. We give thanks for the saints that surround us, for our own call to sainthood. We give thanks for all the saints, signs of hope for us at a time when hope is often difficult to persevere in. As we rejoice at the canonization of Blessed Deva Sahayam, you strengthen us by the example of his holy and courageous life. Teach us by his life's example and offer us an intercession for our prayers. Give us endurance of faith, perseverance of hope, and benevolence of love. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.